Welcome back guys and uh, today we are here with a new deck and this time it is a my take on a Grixis kind of reanimatory madness deck and uh, it has been piloted in the Steam Showdown and the uh, Xbox tournament by two people called uh, Diviner and Batman so uh, this is this I initially took their lists and then I was uh, playtesting with one of their opponents and then I kind of went I quite like this deck but I didn't really take there was, a, there was some cards I didn't really like in there in their list, so I took them out and then replaced them with what I, what I did in the end of the day. Like, like they they ran like disciple the ring, and I really didn't see the point of it in this deck. It uh, did not impress me in the games I drew it, and I never really wanted to draw it. So I kind of took some of the stuff like that out of the deck, and then uh, here here we are, here is where we ended up. And uh, I mean, these this is similar to the one that won the Steam Jordan last season, but uh, this is. So basically the key is to get important cards in your graveyard like Scrappy Scrounger, Haunted Deads, and uh, where is it? Prize Amalgam. And then you just keep getting this like cool, grindy value train, just going over discard and stuff. And then uh, eventually, I mean, you just keep getting value out of this. And eventually you take over the game and then win fairly fast. And uh, so the deck is built around ways of getting good creatures in the graveyard like Lightning Axe and uh, you know, little Jace, Cathartic Reunion, stuff like that. Don't want to fall you, Jace. And then, uh, also it has, and then, you know, you just, uh, so like I said, you've got your discards, and then you've got your value stuff, which we just went through. And then, also on the top end, we have stuff like some of the Emerge creatures, like Distended Mindbender and uh, Elder Deep Fiend, because, again, you don't really mind if Haunted Dead goes in the graveyard, or if uh, <laughs> Prize Amalgam goes in the graveyard, etc, etc. So you can get some pretty nice value getting these guys out on turn 4 to take your opponent's entire turn. So uh, new cards it got from uh, Kal uh, not Kaladesh, Aether Revolt. One of the biggies was uh, Dark in Intimidations. Uh, this is the new Grixis card and uh, it's got a lot of text but what it essentially says is they sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker and then discard a card and then you get one of them back and then you draw a card. So a bit, it's it's pretty nice because it's just like if you can clear a board off everything but a planeswalker you can really get some value going and uh, being able to return like a Jace or a Filigree Familiar or even a Merge Jazzy back from the graveyard is really nice and uh, yeah I really do like this card even though it's uh, we don't have a ball list to play around with yet so, uh, so that's really the deck the mana base is pretty straightforward we just run all the dual lands and then uh, three A for help which I'm not too sure on they might just be better as basics, but for the time being, I will trust them and I'll keep them as ever hopes. But yeah, so that is really the deck. And I'm going to take a brief aside here to talk about talk about my first round in the Steam Showdown. So I'll put a link in the description to the uh, timestamp for when the uh, the matches start, just if anyone wants to skip this or doesn't want to be spoiled or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I'll give you three seconds. One, two, and uh, three. So uh, basically, I'm 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 not even able to upload my first round from the Steam Showdown. It was a bit of a disaster, to be brutally honest. For uh, it was no one's fault, but it was just really really awkward, and it it was pretty disheartening. It's actually some of the worst times I've had playing Magic that first round. Uh, I was very salty afterwards, but I uh, will get. I'll kind of give you the story. What happened is that we, my opponent was a guy called Buffon, who seems like a cool guy. He's uh, I've got no beef with him. And he's, uh, he's from Argentina, so, you know, we're quite far away from each other, so I'm sure you can see what this is leading up to. <laughs> but, uh, first two games we played wasn't really an issue. They are actually pretty good games. Uh, I won the first one. He, he got mana screwed on two lands for a bit, but it wasn't, like, the, the worst mana screw in the world. It was kind of one of the ones... I think he still went, like, turn two snake, ballista, something else, and then he hit his land drop. So it wasn't, like, disastrous, but... I think I got an early cure out and with with a mana door because I was just accelerating a bunch of lands and stuff and he just there was just there was a uh, and then I managed to emerge a cause next return and it was kinda of a good game from there. I was just getting insane value, like I traded off a tireless tracker for a Vex in Scotland and then pulled some Rasa did back. And there was just he just couldn't really keep up and eventually I uh, drew an Ulmark to finish the job. So then I won the first game and then the second game it was uh, kind of the reverse actually. <laughs> I kind of got a bit mana screwed. I was stuck on three for. I didn't actually draw a natural land for like the first eight turns or something. It was pretty ridiculous. I had like a mana dork and then uh, had a grapple with the pass to hit a land, but I just didn't hit them. So I like I had a couple of four mana planeswalkers I couldn't cast. 
but then eventually I kind of nearly dug back into the game but it was just too much value, I was kind of stuck between either, I got I was like on two life and I could have sweeped the board but unfortunately I had a vehicle so I just didn't really have an out so I ended up losing and then uh, the problem started where we, we got pretty far into a third game and uh, he was in front in the start but I was I think I was taken over by the end I had a I had a Nissa, a flip Nissa on four loyalty with a uh, her token on the field because that she died and I'd bring her back and uh, yeah, so I had the, the Ashire token and I had a Vexen Scuttler versus a Noctis Gear Hulk and a Sky Sovereign but I think I had like three cards in hand and he was empty handed and I think I'd draw better but unfortunately uh, we had a disconnect so we then spent like the next hour trying to reconnect to each other which was unfortunate because I, I was, think I was kind of in front I think it was like 60 to 65 percent maybe 70 but uh, unfortunately so we then just for some reason we couldn't connect <laughs> And uh, when, when when we disconnected, my uh, duels crashed. I got a fail error, so we I lost my recording from that because Bandicam's a really high quality program when it comes to crashes. And then, uh, and then uh, eventually we rescheduled to the next day. And then that day came along, and we actually managed to connect. We got about three quarters of the way through a game. It was a very similar situation to the the failed third game where we. Uh, I was, I had I think a Vex and Scuttler, a Primal Druid and another creature on the field and he had three creatures but I had a Brawl's expertise and had more cards and stuff so I could really go nuts and then we disconnected again <laughs> I don't think it was malice by the way, I don't think it was like intentional or anything, I really do think it was just because we live quite far away from each other so and unfortunately again I was in front and then we kind of disconnected so then we tried a fourth time I got mana screwed, it was awful. I lost the game very quickly, and that was that. I lost 2 1. So, uh, it was, like I said, it was very disheartening the way it, I would honestly have just rather got crushed like 2 0 than have to like be in front for two games and then have to replay them and stuff. It was pretty awful. But then, I mean, Buffon, like I said, he's a nice guy. We were we talking it through and stuff, and he, he sent me some screenshots of uh, some of his starting hands and some of the times we were trying to reconnect. And it was. <laughs> Let's, let's just say I'm happy some of the games we couldn't connect to each other. I think one of them we went like 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop. It was pretty disgusting. But uh, overall, I'd like to say good games, but they really, really weren't. And I even lo I lost the first two games, so I just didn't want to upload the third game where, of course, I got pretty salty because uh, of, the, of the situation stuff. And it was really, really unfortunate, and uh, I took it pretty hard <laughs> when the third game disconnected. And uh, I don't really like that side of me. So that's kind of the, the update on the Steam Showdown, so I have lost my first round 2-1, and we will try and bounce back. But uh, yeah, that is that, and uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll stop talking about that now because we will search for a match. And we will now focus on this reanimator deck, and uh, we will take it from there. And we found a homeless Jace, which is always a good sign. Uh, okay. Okay, that should be a long enough pause, I'll tactically uh, time the uh, comeback for that for people who didn't care. <laughs> and here we go. Can we connect? Yes we can. Usuli. He is on the play. I've done a bit of ranking as you can see I'm 24. Not too much, but uh, I am there. Well if we were con if we knew it was an aggro deck we'd keep this, but I don't think we want to. This is slightly better. It's not great, it's a, f it's a 5 lander, but uh, we can go filigree into distended mindbender, which is always nice. And uh, it'd be a lot better on the player. I'd feel more safe with this on the player. But uh, if he was like a control deck, that last hand was worthless. Cathartic Union or something off the top would be really nice. Okay, so white blue, and he's not doing anything. He could be a flash flyers deck, or he could be. He could be a. Control deck, perfect. <laughs> uh, well, this isn't really the hand for a control deck because if he counters slash kills the filigree familiar, then distended isn't really doing too much. Although distended would be an absolute hose if you could resolve it. But we're feeling with how slow my hand is, it's not gonna. This filigree is not gonna stick around. Okay, so we'll get our basics down. Although that is a nice card to draw against control. Basically, has to counter that, especially if he kills the filigree. And then, uh. Okay, so at least he doesn't like. Well, I guess he got, there's nothing he could really kill it with. That instant speed there. 
Declaration stone or something. Okay, what? Okay, so what's that? Red? Right? Okay, that's Jess guy. Well, luckily, if he has a Gideon or something here, that would be really nice. Uh, he could bless Alliance. Maybe I shouldn't have risked that. But, uh, looks like I got away with it. So, yeah. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay. Whoa, okay. So, what do we care about here? I guess we take... Radiant Flames. Because then, then he has to double down on fiery impulses to kill it. Yeah, I guess. I guess he has to double down either way, but... Okay, so he's very... So, he kept a hand, assuming I was an aggro deck. Or maybe the talent tank could have wrecked. But... We can now put on some pressure here. Smack him for five, and then we can follow up the, the dark intimations, I think. Get back our filler green, make him discard. No way did he draw the blessed lines. I will be salty, my friend. Okay, yeah, he gets to. What we just. I mean, he. What, he, what he's planning to do here is double strike to kill us with the fiery impulse. So we might as well just. Goes like return, get it in our graveyard, and then get our five damage in here. I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh. I had the unlicensed disintegration. Oh my god. I am I am not a very smart human being. Okay. Now I'm choosing the wrong cards in pure pain. Okay, we're just gonna do this here. I doubt we're gonna get creature value. And then uh we get to get our distended mind bender back because we're gonna uh, gonna hit a land drops here. And then uh four, five, six. Yeah, we might as well just get distended back over filigree. I was reading the card, it is a fairly new card, and the, the essentially the second half of it is irrelevant. So, uh, we know one of his cards is Fairy Impulse, and uh, we knew he just drew the Glimmer, so I think his last two cards are two lands, but that's irrelevant now because he's just drawn two cards. Okay, and he gets to discard, so, yeah. We will get our Distended back, draw more land, we are flooding a little bit here. Might want to stop playing out lands relatively soon. At eight, most likely, just in case I start drawing stuff I need to discard. And then, uh. Deep Fiend is nice. I'll get my double blue down. And now I'll attack with my Wandering Funeral. And then, uh. Wants to do. I guess we'll just flip it now because it, if he's got a removal spell for it, we can just flip back. He's already used two fiery impulses, so he might struggle to find any other cheap answer for it. And either way, we can just flip it back for one. So. Yep, that seems fine. And then we can kind of start getting our merge chain off next turn. This is a weird match. I really should have just unlicensed disintegration and kept my 5 5 around. That would have been a nice play. But. I think I'm gonna have a peek at his hand before I. De oh, actually, deep I think I like Deep Fiend into Distended. Yeah, I like Deep Fiend into Distended. Yeah. Or we could just haunt it into Deep Fiend. That works as well, I guess. We want to leave up double blue here. That'll do. Okay, so he drew confirmed suspicions. Uh, well, that's not the end of the world. We'll uh, fiery temper a men's step, and then oh, we'll just bring we'll bring it back actually. Discard and fiery temper and a land. So yeah, that's not the end of the world. At least it wasn't like a spell shovel or something. I know a spell shovel wouldn't have exiled. 
You know, I'm not too worried about that Gideon. We have a plethora of ways to deal with it. And, uh, like, we can... I'm going to point the fiery temper at it, and then I can attack it with the, the flyer. Which is nice. And, uh... Yeah. Make sure it doesn't tap my red. Discard you and you. What's well, actually still in that graveyard there? Okay, Hunter Dead's trigger just hasn't resolved yet. Fair enough. So you can counter this if you want. But, uh. I'm fine with that. Okay, broken concentrations. We can take that thing. No, we can't take that thing off the board. Hmm. I think the play is to go. Uh, we could have taken it off the board this turn with the filigree and turn license disintegration. But, uh. I think I like that. He wants to trade it off and then we play filigree and then we'll merge our deep fiend. Yep, I'll take that trade. I don't know why it keeps wanting to tap on my blue. Okay, and then uh, we'll see what he wants to do with this turn. Could tap down some lands here, but I don't think that's relevant. All this stuff is most likely going to be instant speed. And then I guess I could do it in response to this clue. Nah, that's fine. Let's see what he wants to do. He didn't even activate his Gideon that turn, I'd like to point out. But uh, we can. on you and then I guess I'll go just go for his red and a white. We do have the Kozlex return in the graveyard but we're not going to flip it yet. So that's that. But we're going to draw a card and then we can distended Mindbender here. So. Or we can actually just take his Gideon off the board with the land which I think I'll do. Okay we are flooding a little bit yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind seeing a gear power or something like that. Wow, <laughs> it's getting pretty ridiculous. Uh. Okay, so we'll take his Gideon off the board. He's got he's got the card advantage here, but we can distend it to hopefully get some of that land out of his hand, and then uh, should be okay, I think. Eventually he'll find another win condition. He has been quite far through his deck with only one, so to keep that in mind. Uh, can we distend it this turn? We can't distend it this turn, so we might as well just uh, bring our Haunted Dead back end step. And then uh, go from there. Okay, there's a Glimmer. I'm fine with that. Hmm, this is turning into a bit of a grinder. So you must have just a bunch of counter spells here, that's what we've accepted. But uh considering how much land we've drawn, I can't I can't, I can't even count, but I know it's a lot. That uh I'm pretty confident that we can well, win this game. Ooh, Deep Fiend is nice. Uh, what's the play? That's the question. I could unlicense trying to bait out a counter spell on the uh, Knight Ally to attack in for a lot of damage. And if he counters, we can just then distend it or something. That might be good. That might be good. I think it's worth going for. Okay, so he's got a counter spell, we know that. So, I'm fine with that. So now that means we'll go for Deep Fiend over the Distended Mindbender. 
and then we'll follow that up and do an extended mind bender on his turn. So yeah, I'm fine with that. One of them get his uh, counter spell magic this turn, and then uh, next turn, he, I mean, he's kind of up against it. Like he's on nine life, I've wandering funeral. He needs to deal with his board, and uh, yeah. I mean, he's got like eight cards in hand. It'd be statistically really unfortunate if he couldn't deal with it. But uh, if he goes planar outburst here, then we. I don't know. We can pick at his hand. We've got the mana that we can just hopefully decimate his hand here. Obviously, we can't deep fiend if he does planar outburst. But okay, radiant flames. Yeah, I'll go for it now. So we will tap you out of your uh, blue and we'll tap like that. I think out red, and then I guess we don't need you. We'll tap out white as well. Yeah, that seems right. It's gonna counter spell it, but then we go distended mind mender and hopefully wreck his hand of anything too too useful. Uh, harness lightning. That doesn't work the way you think it's gonna, my friend. I t do tap out your red, but then you can uh, yeah you can yeah. So yeah, he figured it out. Fair enough. So you're gonna harness lightning, and then he's gonna be. Will not return. Cause next return. Don't actually. He does. He could have another counter spell here, but I mean, we'll still get the cast trigger from the distant in my mender. And then, uh, if he counter spells, we essentially get three cards out of his hand. So I'm, I'm fine with this. And then we can kind of clear the way for this wandering funeral. He won't have too many answers for that, hopefully. And then uh, we can go from there. So yeah, Radiant Flame is not the matchup for you, but then we can stop bringing back Haunted Deads and stuff as well, so. Eh, that's kind of sad he's exiling it, but I knew he'd have counter spells, so let's see what we get. Could bless the line some Gear Hulk, that's good. So he's down to a land in hand. Full energy on a land in hand. Uh, we will not. So, yeah, let's see what he draws. Because there's the land we knew he had. I'm assuming he drew another land. So I'm going to attack with 100 Fumeral, discard whatever I draw, yep, to the Haunted Dead. I'm kind of sad because that 100 Fumeral could be nice, but uh, I think the Haunted Dead is the better grab here. Because we can do that end step, and then uh, it still presents a lethal clock. So yeah, we also have a bunch of fiery tempers and stuff we could draw at this point. Collective defiance, and uh, yeah. So Let's see, we don't know what he's drawing. He's had two draw steps. We don't know what's in his hand, but it's looking like we got there, even through that horrific mistake earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to uh, grind our opponent out there with the distended mind bender, which is fantastic against control. That was a weird game. Don't you don't normally get to uh, eight mana with this deck, uh, but we got there. Scrappy scrounger is another good draw. If things go wrong here, two, three, four. Let's see. I guess you could kill the wandering funeral, but yeah. Uh, like Blessed Alliance isn't going to do it, and uh, yeah, taking the Gear Hulk and the Blessed Alliance out of his hand was kind of the backbreaker in that situation. Although, kind of wondering about it now, uh, he didn't have a counter spell in hand. No, he did. He used his old mana, so he couldn't have Blessed Alliance just to gain the life. So yeah, that was a interesting game. But uh, this deck can grind, and we did manage to. Draw Drazi, which we're doing the job. So we'll jump into game numero two. Uh, kind of, I mean, I, the, the distended mind bender play was obviously not the greatest, but I think we recovered okayish after that. There was the turn we could have maybe killed his Gideon by going filigree into unlicensed disintegration, but I kind of liked my line in that situation. 
and uh, yeah, so we'll jump into game two here and see how we do versus Emon and uh, two lander. This is a keep, I think, just because of the. I mean, like I said, I'll keep any hand with two lands in the Cathartic Reunion. It's just the way I am. Uh, need to find my blue mana and some creatures. <laughs> Fairly soon, we look like Rakdos Control over here, but. Uh, we can hopefully. I mean, we actually not got too much we want to discard. Uh, this is interesting. Do we even Cathartic this turn? Uh, maybe, I don't think we. I think we wait one more turn, actually. Believe it or not. Just to at least try and get value out of a fiery temper or something, because I'm not sure what I want to discard here. And if we don't rip a land, I mean maybe we'll rip a land up and it'll all be well or something. But now we've got a better idea what we need to deal with here, so we can keep up like lightning axe or something. Uh, see, like that's good for us. We can now just go like this. And which of our burn spells do I not like here? Uh, I guess collector defiance is the the goer. Because uh, Radiant Flames will clear up anything. And unfortunately, this Smother, uh, Smother Marsh comes into play tapped. And it's gonna come, so I might as well get it down now. So yeah. They'll get one crack at me with Copter, but then we should be okay. We've got like Lightning Axe Fiery Temper to wipe his board, or Radiant Flames Fiery Temper or something, so. Yeah. Black Green Colorless, it looks like. Into an Ovenwald Mystery, so interestingly, he doesn't attack with Copter this turn. But that is a good card against us. Being able to wear Grind uh, is pretty nice. And we <laughs> we are drawing none of our uh, cheap creatures, such as Haunted Dead, stuff like that. And uh, it's getting. It means we're, we're playing a control game, and he's just played an Ovenwald Mysteries, which isn't too great for us. No enchantment here in Grixis, of course, so. We could be in for a long one. Another grinder. Uh, second of World Mysteries. Do I just stop firing these fiery tempers off a of face? I don't think so. Do we? No, we're not. We're not beat down here, especially with this hand. We can hold them. <laughs> this is not the most ideal draw for this deck. I'll be the first to admit. Uh, at least we have the radiant flames for the the tokens once they can get out of control here. So, we'll just see what will come off the top of our deck. That's like the worst creature we could have seen. <laughs> uh, at least we can go Fiery, fire Temper, Lightning Axe to wipe his field here. Well, technically wipe his field. I think I almost just Fiery Temper his face, because he's going to crack the clue, and then I'll just, I need to Radiant Flames anyway, which still kills his Tireless Tracker. No, no, I have to target the Tireless Tracker anyway. Because uh, if he untaps and he can like get two clues or something, Radiant Flames isn't going to do it anyway, so I might as well do it now. So he's going to get a lot of clues here. We kind of have to hope this Radiant Flames does the job. But uh, this is... We've got the prize amalgam in the graveyard. Uh, but I think we're going to lose to the double Uvenwald Mysteries here. Radiant Flame is going to buy us a bit of time, but he's going to be generating so many. He can basically not play any more creatures. Uh, might as well get you down. Doesn't die to Radiant Flames, which is nice. And if it goes in the graveyard, we can bring back a prize amalgam. And we can also, but we're going to probably emerge with Descended Mindbender or something this next turn. Just to get it in the graveyard, and then uh, it only costs three mana, so we should have some extra lands to bring bring it back, which would be nice. If we rip a land, I think we can do that. Uh, Tamiya's journal. <laughs> this guy is all in on the clues. He is uh, he has built his deck to go in for a long one. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but tapping off, of the, I mean, he's going to be able to diabolic tutor essentially and step here, but. Uh, it's on the end of the world. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we should be okay. Uh, I say with a single tear streak. I mean, we can play that JS and flip it to re flashback the radiant flames. Gonna keep that in mind. Uh, don't tap my blue. Thank you. Also, get to uh, decimate his hand here. Get you out of the way. 
clear, so Uvenwald Hydra. I think Uvenwald Hydra is the uh, grab, we can't really kill it at this point. And Decletus, maybe it dies to like two burn spells. So. He has no removal in hand, but you can, I guess, cheer up some removal, but. Like, we only have like the two unlicensed disintegrations to take on this Hydra at that, this point. So I think this is the grab. But our opponent <laughs> is gonna be. <laughs> he's gonna fetch up a decimator of the provinces. <laughs> I've accepted that, but uh, this is great. I'm not even upset. Uh, this is. <laughs> uh, I'd like to see how his deck does against like hyper aggro because if I think if I've been like playing, I think you just crumble to be brutally honest. But uh, I do like this. I do think this is this is. I like this. <laughs> I do like this combo by my opponent. I will uh, give him props for this. This is nice. We have to Radiant Flames now next turn. Flip our JS. <laughs> and then I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> Just take the game from there. <laughs> oh, he's going to Westvale Lab, yes. Uh, can we deal with that in this deck? Uh, no, we can't, so we just lose. Uh, that's nice. I, didn't, I kind of forgot about the Westvale. So we need to win this game. Uh, can we deal with this? Is there anything on our deck? We need to go like Deep Fiend, Deep Fiend. Uh, Jace, no Exile or anything, so yeah. Status unknown here. Of uh, statistically how likely we are to win this game. But. Uh, we just dead on board. If we flip our Jace, I was thinking about flipping our Jace and bring back Stitch Wing, but that's not going to do too much for us here. Because uh, he can just, he needs, if he gets two blockers through, we lose, and this comes into play tapped, as does the prized amalgam. So we have to flip our Jace instant speed. Or we could just, I guess, Fiery Temper as well off the Jace, which works, just to kill a 1 1. And then he has the choice of kill Jace or go to the face, which I think the answer is fairly self-explanatory, but uh, I think flipping our JS now is right. Haunted Dead buys us a turn. Maybe I, dis I discard that instead now. No, we need two Fiery Temper to survive, so yeah. No, actually, we can Haunted Dead instead. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We flip our JS, and then we are... <laughs> oh yeah, we can also plus with this thing. Is there anything worth that? If we wipe the board and we draw Dark Intimations, we can win this game. Okay, we found a win con. So, uh... We just need to buy time till then. So this means we need to keep our Radiant Flames, somehow. Uh, I'm running out of turn timer, so I guess. I guess we just try and buy as much time as possible here. Just got W. I'm just pointing out his one ones. Just to uh, try and clear, we need to clear like the board into uh, into uh, dark intimations. Okay. So I guess we'll just plus on the the one one. We're going to jump with the spirit next turn. So uh, yeah. We need to somehow, somehow wipe this board, and uh, somehow wipe this board, and then dark intimations that thing. Okay, so if, if he, t I don't know, we need him to tap out as well, otherwise he can sacrifice a clue in some speed here. So <laughs> we might not be in the most ideal position, but we do have an out in our deck at some point if he, if he manages. And we know one of his cards is. Okay, now that, that brings extra key. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we're dead to a Marinette Master. My <laughs> this game, <laughs> this guy needs to send me his deck. Uh, Eman, if you're watching this, let me know. Let me know your deck list, my friend. We just got. <laughs> oh, I deserve it after all these times. I deserve it after all these times. And he gets all the clues. <laughs> I mean, he gets all this. <laughs> okay, so. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, we 
got a little bit outplayed there. But morally, I think uh, we came we came out second in uh, I think every single regard that game. But style points, jank, skill, prowess, handsomeness. I, I just I think I just if this guy's a YouTube channel. I'm done. Uh, let's just say my subscriber count would be halved in a day as everyone jumps to his channel. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that because I. I kind of did. I like that. That was sweet. Uh, that was that was sweet. But unfortunately, we're gonna call it quits there. That was two long grindy games. I don't feel like playing the third out. So I'd like to say uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, Marinette Master is the best card in duels.